Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I'm gonna share with you my tier trays that I've created for my house. So I have my creative co-op tray for my kitchen, my decor steals tray is what I did for my living room this year, and then I have a target tier tray for downstairs in the family room. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get to tier tray and Okay, so for my creative co-op tray, I decided I wanna do a carrot theme. That's kind of what my shelf looks like. It's kind of a little more carroty, and I just wanted to create another carrot theme. So my two main items that I wanted to use were my little bunny with his wheelbarrow. And then of course, I put my little Michael's carrots in there. I just thought those fit perfect and look so cute. Also, I want to use my new little bunnies in their cage, and they do have a little carrot in there with them. This just kind of fits only so many places on this tray so I stuck it right there and then I just began to fill out pieces I thought since it was upstairs um, in my kitchen I would do you know kind of use my measuring cups so I got my carrot measuring cups and then just a little moss bunny I popped in there and then I grabbed my wood measuring cups for down here and then after that it was just kind of fill in with pieces for the back i grabbed my little fruit bowl and i put some of my little orange and check carrots back there and that just ended up over here behind the cage the bunny cage or whatever and then i also grabbed an olive bucket put in some of that leaf greenery i'm gonna set that over here to fill out i did put a little stick of eucalyptus in my wood measuring cups and then to fill in the top a little bit I decided to use my new canister with the orange jot since it did not fit on what well, fit on my shelf upstairs just not the way I was looking for and I did have to put that on a wood slice or it doesn't fit in there very well and then to round out the top I decided to use my metal bunny I got from Susan and he just fits in there just so. I just thought that was cute, kind of a nice little accent piece. I love how he's like sniffing in the air. And then on the bottom, I just wanted a few more filler pieces, just little garnish pieces. So I took my baby cloche and put those little carrots in there. They're like crepe paper carrots. And I just thought this looked cute. Okay, just sitting over here on the side. I added my white little egg bunny from Susan up here in the front, just to add a little bit more. And then I have this kind of, I'm don't i gonna call it a sisal carrot. It came in a three pack from Hobby Lobby. It is not one of those that came off the pick. This one did just come separate. And then I separated them. And there is my kitchen tray, my carrot themed kitchen tray. I just really love how it all came together. I love the oranges. It's gonna mix well with my shelf. Be a fun little addition into my kitchen. So for my decor steals tray, it's gonna go on the end table in my upstairs living room. And what I really wanted to use on this because I did kind of pastel in my big dough bowl on my council table. And then as you saw, I switched out all the carrots that I had used in my Studio McGee dough bowl. And I wanted to go for more pastel. And it's because I did this tray in pastel and I really wanted to use my new hop sign. So that just got put down here at the bottom. And I just gathered items that I thought would look good with this and you know, accent the dough bowl that I made and things like that. So I decided to use my moss bunnies from Hobby Lobby. So one got put over here by the hop and I did put him on a little riser just to bring him up just a little bit. Otherwise he just kind of sunk into the rim just a little too much. And then I decided to use the other moss bunny up here on the top. And since there's like pink and blue on here, that's kind of the theme I stuck with. So I grabbed my pink bunny that I got from TG Maxx or Home Goods. I thought that went nice up there. I grabbed my little Hello Easter sign. And then to finish out the top, I grabbed my little, I don't know, little mason jar with like the diamonds on it. And then I stuck those three tulips that I use for Valentine's in there. So definitely have a pink theme going up on the top. And then down on the bottom, I wanted to use my keep canister. Um, these little canisters fit really nice on this decor steals tray. And I just thought, be 
a nice white piece to put in there. And then I also filled my large cloche with some pink and white eggs. I used all the blue ones upstairs in my dobo, but I did not use two pink. So technically I could go up there and switch a blue out for a pink if I wanted to add a little bit more blue in there. But that's just what I did for now since I used them all in my dough bowl and I just kind of set that back there for some filler and then I also grabbed just the pink and blue little eggs I put some up here and then I grabbed a bunch of them and put them down here in the front just to kind of fill in so when you're looking at it it doesn't look so bare right there in the front and there's my hop tray for my living room and i think it'll go really well with all the pastels in the living room and then these kind of like darker greens will transition nice into the dining room and the kitchen where i have more of the orange and carrots in there This is the Target chair tray that'll go downstairs in the family room. And I just wanted to use kind of some of those bright colors like I'm using on the mantle. So I picked out my little bunny pillow with the like dark and light pinks on there. And then I thought my little bunny pulling his egg wagon would be cute. I thought about putting some candies in here. We don't come downstairs all that often. So I didn't want to like have candy down here going bad. So I did just put some of my gingham carrots in there. I could easily take those out and put some candies down there if I wanted. To go with the bottom I grabbed my green egg because I just wanted to use all these fun colors in it and then to fill out the back I grabbed my dark pink bowls again to go with this pillow and then just some white and burlap eggs to kind of make it a little neutral and then up on the top I filled it in. This is the new bunny from this year. He is the medium size. He's three dollars and I thought he just looked cute over here next to my pillow kind of peeking out and then this is a little purple succulent just to kind of add in all those colors and then I did grab two little eggs to fill in in front of that egg down there because there's kind of a, a dead space and there's my little bunny tray for downstairs it's just kind of a mishmash of colors but that's kind of how the mantle is it just has all those colors I use those bright eggs on it from Michaels so I just wanted to make sure I was incorporating those brighter colors on my tier tree. there was my three tiered trays for my house. I hope you enjoyed. I will be doing just like a simple Easter home tour just to show you the other places that I've decorated in the house. Otherwise I've shared with you all my major pieces that I've decorated. My dough bowl, my tiered trays, my shelf, my mantle, and the home tour. I'll just go around and show you the few other little places I decorate and those main ones. So that should be coming next and I hope you enjoyed. Got some inspiration and thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.